Hello, my name is Pam and I'm with Product Reviews by Pam and today I'm doing a review of this Blue Fire Waterproof Scuba Diving Flashlight. Um, I'm giving this three stars. Um, it's generally, as a flashlight, a very good flashlight. It's very bright um, and uh, very sturdy and uh, so in that respect um, it's a really nice um, piece of equipment to have. But as a scuba diving flashlight, I just can't give this thing uh, five stars. And there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, in order to change the modes, you have to turn the back part of the uh, flashlight um, tighter or looser, which seems to me to be a pretty bad design uh, feature for something you're going to have underwater because you really don't want to have the water getting into um, the battery compartment. Um, and while I'm talking about the battery compartment, I'm going to show you uh, the batteries. It takes either three AAA batteries, like so. As you can see there, the little container for it. Um, or it takes one of these 18650 batteries that are very common with a lot of the things coming out of uh, China. And it's actually really useful. It's usually about 1200 or so milliamps in these and uh, it's a good strong uh, battery to have around and you can recharge these easily. So um, I use both. You can see it has these ring seals here. Um, just pop that in and screw it on. But like I say, in order to use this, you have to turn this uh, tighter and uh, loosen it. And to me, that's just something I don't like in a flashlight that I might be depending on for my life um, when I'm under the water. So I'm going to be actually using this more for camping, or I may even give this to my daughter for camping. Um, it also does state that you can put this thing on your wrist and uh, use it that way. I'm going to show you right here. Oops. You see, it's just not that easy to handle and, and to manipulate this thing and imagine trying to do this underwater. Um, but if I put this on, like so. Excuse my cats in the background, they've decided to get frisky all of a sudden. Um, and you can see this is just not an easy thing to get on, on and off when I'm high and dry, never mind if I'm actually under the water. But uh, tighten it up nice and tight here. So I've got it there, and now if I try to turn this on and off, again, this is like really just not easy to, to, to turn on and off when I've got it on my wrist either. Um, so um, big, for me, a big fail there um, as far as the design. But as far as it being um, a flashlight in general, it's a good flashlight, feels very sturdy, very, um, uh, very hefty. So, um, again, three stars for this. If you're looking for a waterproof or a virtually waterproof flashlight for something like camping, I would definitely go for this. Uh, for, um, for scuba diving and things like that, not so much. I'll go for the ones that, um, that use an on-off um, button or something like that, um, because this is just not such a good thing uh, for that, not when your life depends on it. So my name again is Pam. I'm with Product Reviews by Pam. I hope this has helped you with your purchase decisions. Uh, I really enjoy doing reviews and I do try to give honest reviews um, for everything that I use. So um, again, I hope this has helped you with your purchase decisions and happy shopping.